प्लीज कहाँ गुड मॉर्निंग प्लीज सिद्धा What's your name? So my name is Mohit. Okay. So Mr. Mohit, uh, twice you have gone to UPSC earlier for interviews. Yes, sir. Uh, when and how many marks you got? Sir, in the first attempt I got 168 marks. Mm -hmm. In the second I got 158. 58. Yes, sir. And this was 2020 and 2021, both. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so we'll start. Kindly tell us about yourself. Uh, so I have done my computer science engineering from Maharaja Surajma Institute of Technology. Yeah. After that, I have worked as a digital marketing executive and web developer, helping small businesses to get online. So after that, I took a one year break for preparation of this service examinations. However, sir, after the first wave of COVID, I am working as a general manager in a plywood uh, manufacturing plant. You're working even now? Yes, sir. But the form, I think, say, gives an end date also? Uh, sir, no, it is the date of the filling of the form. Because this says 1st July 22, from and to, from June 20 to July 22. Uh, sir, it was the date of the filling of the mains examination. Okay, and it doesn't matter. So, you are from Delhi? Yes, sir. So, please tell us the history of Delhi in brief from... Uh, sir, if you are talking about mythology, uh, they have been saying that uh, the Vedas were first ap appeared near the Nigambodh card and mm -hmm. because of that Pandavas make their capital in the Prastha here. Mm -hmm. However, sir, if you go by archaeology, we see the first evidences from the Tomar dynasty here and mm -hmm. then Delhi Sultanate Mughals uh, and after that the British made the India uh, Delhi capital again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, uh, <coughs> you have read today's newspaper? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, where are the elections being held? Sir, today, anywhere? Sir, I'm sorry, sir, it's in the northeast, eastern states. Northeast has eight states of India. <laughs> it's not, it's not as much. Sorry, state. sir, I cannot recall this. You cannot recall, okay. Uh, tell me uh, that. Uh, Please tell me the landmarks in India's foreign policy because you have taken international relations, yes. Uh, Sir, after Since the independence, yes. Yeah. Uh, Sir, the first one is non alignment and the today's version of strategic autonomy to take our own grounds in the geopolitics. So, second is the peaceful coexistence based on Vasudev Kutumgam, our policies. And, Sir, third. So, you are talking of these days. Sir, I'm talking about the whole evolution oh, okay. since the independence. Okay. 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 Sir, we have always supported the cause of Global South. Okay. okay. Very nice. Now, <coughs> tell me that, uh, <coughs> supposing uh, you get selected in the IAS and you are a district collector in a district in UP and you go to uh, the poorest of the poor village and village has no facilities at all. People don't have even a proper house. There's no electricity, no water, no uh, health care, no school, no road, no food. I mean, you, you can imagine yes, the poorest of the poor. So, what are the first three things you will give to them and under which schemes? So, can I take a moment? Sure. Sir, the first would be to make sure there is a food security to these people. Okay. So, under National Food Security Act and Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana, okay. I would connect them to uh, these schemes. Very nice. So, second would be to make sure that the the, the health facilities are there, so okay. that they could have a manpower to engage in meaningful activities. Okay. So, third, if I would uh, I have to assess whether it's a rural economy and which kind of resources are there. To make sure that the, uh, they are, are employments or I can say a making of earning such as uh, okay. self-help groups in... Uh, okay, now cricket. Uh, when was the first ODI held and where? Sir, I'm sorry. T20, do you know T20? 
so the first match international match was fought between uh, australia and new zealand where in when? 2002 2005 sorry i'm sorry i cannot recall the venue okay my last question is you were team leader in some activity as i saw in your hobbies now if i am not a leader not nor am i a born leader but i want to be a leader so what are the qualities i need to imbibe to be a leader can you tell me some leadership qualities please sir i have always believed that the leadership is not bestowed upon someone it has to be earned and for that quality i believe first is the emotional intelligence a second would be the better communication skill and an understanding whether a person uh, or team member can do a job properly or not so third would be to lead by example have courage and faith in a, uh, uh, in my team as well as myself to achieve the goal and the mission that i have been assigned to what is emotional intelligence by the way so emotional intelligence is about understanding our emotions itself what are the causes and what are they are why they are rising so how is it intelligence so most of the time we think that our thoughts are facts however a, a bright person or intelligent person knows that our thoughts and our the the imp- impeding emotions are reaction to certain activities that can be temporary how does it help in leadership so in a crisis period if there is a panic attack a emotionally intelligent person can understand and be calmful and try to okay. piece out a Thank solution. You. Thank you so much, sir. Mr. Mohit. Yes, sir. The chairman said you were team leader. Yes, sir. Of a college tech blog. Yes, sir. What were what 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 what, what were you writing in the tech blog, or what was this tech blog about? Uh, sir, this tech blog um, blog was about free source applications and their utilization to improve the privacy of the users, especially in the Android uh, phones. Okay. So did you come up with any solutions? Yes, sir. Privacy. Yes, sir. <coughs> like, so for example, uh, there are various uh, free and open source applications that do not have to register themselves to the Google uh, ecosystem. So they do not share data with the Google. And there is an uh, in earlier version of the Android, we had the option to root the uh, the operating system. to gain the root functionality of the system and we can delink the uh, the handset from the google services so you were promoting uh, uh, data private data to go to google no sir uh, we are uh, delinking with it uh, from the google you are delinking it yes sir okay so now in this area in this uh, time in the times of big tech you know privacy has again become very difficult to maintain What is the government doing about it? Uh, sir, the government is working on a draft uh, data protection law, and sir, the government is promoting uh, the data locality uh, in especially. Tell us the fundamentals of the data protection law. Uh, sir, the rights and obligations of the data uh, fiduciaries and data principles, and sir, it's about uh, data localizations and promoting the indigenous uh, companies. to uh, come to take the big steps to fill in the gap of the big tech companies you know one of the more important features of uh, of uh, privacy is the terms and conditions to so download an app and you have to you know tick to the you have to accept the terms and conditions before the app can be downloaded and when you when you when you click that it is considered to be deemed consent yes sir now this data protection law that you were talking about say something about that sir consent. sorry sir sorry sir i cannot recall about you can okay now what is the latest in computer science technology Oops. latest developments you passed out in 2017 since then a lot of happened yes sir. a lot has happened what are the latest uh, the sir the first one that comes to my mind is chat gpt okay. the ai language learning model and that has created certain kind of a revolution in the technology what else so second is the uh, the working on the quantum computing and small uh, higher advanced uh, semiconductor chips that are increasing the computation powers okay so these are uh, very major developments yes sir and they are very disruptive also yes sir so very exciting times for uh, computer science tech yes sir and you are not you don't want to be part of this revolution sir i believe of becoming a part of the administration 
who can guide this kind of in technology is becoming a part of this uh, no, but once you are in the administration you will lose touch with this technology how would you guide innovation in this technology sir mm, by bringing such kind of a technology and its application to the people by making sure that the people are up to date about these technologies and how they can rerun the skills to master these technologies and uh, to to employ to increase their employability in the future so what is the government doing on ai to promote ai the government has a specific mission on this so the government uh, there are various in, uh, universities center of excellence is uh, no, even something the, in the budget so the government has increased uh, so i'm sorry i cannot recall the exact provision but they have allocated a, a good amount of money for the research in the ai okay now my last question uh, punjab there have been some serious developments yes sir can you tell us uh, sir we have seen in a couple of days back there have been a uh, restlessness or there have been certain uh, people protest 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 yeah who have uh, protest for what why were these people protesting brandishing swords attacking the police uh, sir so they tried oh no sir so they tried successfully to uh, free uh, one of their people from the police station one of whose people sir so, uh, so i'm sorry i cannot recall the name Who's behind this? Who's they? Who's they? Sir, the people. Uh, uh, there is a section. I am forgetting the name. The the descendants uh, descendants of Punjab. And descendants of Punjab. What is English, Punjab? English name? What is what is sir? Amrit Pal Singh. Amrit Pal Singh. Who is yes, Amrit Pal Singh? Sir, he is the leader of this uh, group, and he came from the Dubai uh, recently. to lead this faction he succeeded whom uh, so the person who has died i forgetting his name sir thank you mr mohit singh i say <coughs> yeah mr mohit yes sir you are from you are living in delhi yes sir <coughs> and mohalla clinics are also in delhi yes sir what are the services provided by them so they are majorly a primary health sector uh, primary uh, uh, wealth health and wellness centers so recommendations small prescriptions and providing of essential medicines medicines to them okay can you say something about uh, what is your opinion about them are they good uh, experiment in fact or experiment or a good scheme so i believe they are the good schemes because there is a huge number of population in the delhi itself and since uh, our health uh, resources are very limited such institutions fill the gaps and reduces the burden on this uh, secondary and tertiary healthcare centers okay <coughs> have an idea about the momo twins we have twins you know twins when the newborns are there if two are born they are called twins yes sir so there are momo twins what are they S- sorry sir I, i don't understand okay books reading is your hobby yes sir which is the latest book you have read uh, sir the chip war by the chris miller and uh, what uh, what is the lesson you got out of it or what is the benefit you got out of it sir the book is about the semiconductor supply chain and its disruption mm-hmm. so the gist that i got that i understood is that there is a monopoly over the uh the manufacturing of the higher advanced chips and we are ending towards or limiting towards the moore's law that is the computational power over over a chip is going to be doubled every year every second year who is having the monopoly so can you repeat the question who is having the monopoly on the semiconductor uh, sir the, the whole supply chain is uh, dominated by different actors for example the design is being monopolized by the us the machine that is been used to manufacture higher advanced chips such as uh, e, uh, lithography machines have been monopolized by netherlands asml company and so the manufacturing of the foundry is being manufactured uh, monopolized by taiwan tsmc's company with the china is also manufacturing them so china is trying to manufacture or get a edge but because of the us sanctions as well as because of this monopoly 
and they are not being able to manufacture higher end of chips they are making analog chips so the chip chips uh, manufactured by taiwan are in fact dependent on usa and netherlands as you said yes sir so without them they cannot make yes, sir yes sir that is the basis. and india also actually one state gave a statement that we will go for this uh, semiconductor chips and all that sir the indian government have promoted the chip manufacturing however we are not producing the higher end of the chips the 4 nanometer chips we are making uh, 50 nanometer chips for the digital and electronic devices what does it mean 15 nanometer and 4 nanometer sir as we reduce the number of size and these 4 nanometers are the size of a transistors hmm. so as we reduce them we can include more of these transistor on particular chips okay. so if we reduce this their numbers or uh, their sizes hmm. we can increase the computational powers good now the last question is about justice which is your optional subject yes sir for a minute say what do you think about justice concept of justice and what all you know about justice so do you want my own opinion or from the political science perspective on justice you have to speak on justice for one minute whether you give whatever opinion you want to so for me justice is uh, something that has to make a level playing field among the different players we have to make sure that the person who is coming for the justice is not being harassed or not being uh, diminished because of his their standing in the social ladder so providing a equal platform and then judging the perf- uh, people's actions is for me is the justice speak you have been given one minute it's only 20 seconds so uh, justice should be seen in the broader concept of socio economic uh, standings as well as their the rectifactory justice should be based on the natural uh, natural justice also we have seen in the past that in the india to get the justice the process itself becomes the punishment sometimes to make sure that the process doesn't become the punishment we have to reduce the number of um intermediaries or what we can say criminal justice law so that the person can get the justice on due time second would be to make them empowered so that they can have their rights and they um, they can access judiciary in an efficient manner thank you thank you so much sir mr mohit gupta yes sir your optional subject is political science international relations and political science yes sir give me the main reason why you chose this so the main reason was that after getting the initial reading of the all subject i found uh, political science uh, the amount of material available for the self study was high okay now you also have found the reading books yes sir have you read any book pertaining to international relations recently sir i have read a book recently but it is not a contemporary book it is the book the decline of the usa by the farid zakaria by farid zakaria yes, uh farid zakaria conducts a very well known television show yes, do sir. you ever watch it uh, sorry sir i have seen youtube videos but i haven't watched the show all right now since you have studied international relations tell me what is the abraham accord or the abraham accord what was the abraham accord as so it was a major milestone between the israel and the uae especially the arab world to to resolve their disputes and come together to improve their uh, economic ties uh, did uh, uae sign the accords with any other country i mean was there any other arab country which also signed the abraham accord sir so, i believe it was bahrain How many Arab countries have normalized relations with Israel? As you said it's a milestone. Yes sir. How many Arab countries have normalized? Which sir, was the first? Sir Egypt was the first. Which year? As uh, sir after the war uh, the Arab and uh, Israel war. There were many wars. There were three wars. So seven day wars. Okay. Um so you can't remember which year. Yes sir sorry. And then after that which country? So okay how many arab countries in all since you said the arab 
you know, issue and the dynamics of that. So how many Arab countries and all have normalized relations with Israel? So there are issues, they have the fundamental differences. No, no, but I'm asking you a question. How many Arab countries have normalized relations with Egypt? So I'm sorry, I do not have the... You don't know. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, are you following the presidency of India over the G20? So I follow the newspaper and... What is the importance of this presidency? So G20, especially in this time, is very much important because other multilateral forums as well as the platforms such as UNGA and UNSC have become uh, redundant or what we can say... Redundant? redundant. They have become redundant. Redundant in sol solving the issue of uh, Ukraine versus Russia. Sorry, okay. sir, I, can, I have to take my words back. They have become dysfunctional because of the discord between the West and the Russia. So G20 provided a special uh, platform where India can took the discussion over the, uh, the issues of global warming, the inflation, recessions and the high... So India is holding a number of working group meetings on all such issues. Yes, sir. Climate change and finance. Yes, sir. What meetings of the G20 were held last week? So the finance minister's meeting. Okay. Uh, so they are talking about the, especially the impact of the supply chain disruptions and the right. So one was the finance minister's meeting. Was there any meeting outside the finance track? There was a meeting at Khajuraho. What was that about? Sorry, sir, I cannot. You didn't. No, you said you read the paper, so that's yes, why sir. I'm asking. Sorry. Okay, you referred to the Russia-Ukraine war and the inability of the United Nations to resolve this matter. According to you, what is the main cause of the Russia-Ukraine war? So the main cause was the expansion of the NATO. It, Im, it What does NATO stand for? It's a collective defense. No, what is the full form of NATO? So Northern Atlantic. Uh, North Atlantic. Yes, sir. And then? TO? Uh, treaty organization. How many members are there in NATO? Sorry, sir, I can... Because you refer to the expansion of NATO. So yes, sir. you must know how many are there at the moment. I should and Are any other countries apart from Ukraine also interested in joining NATO? Sir, so, uh, the uh, Sweden and Finland are trying to become the part of the NATO. Okay. You refer to um, Vasudev Kutumbukha. Yes, sir. Can you give me some examples of how India has followed this? Sir, Quick yes. examples. So recently, the Vaitli, uh, vaccination campaign, India helped various countries. Okay, that's one. So second... Uh, More recent, something in very recent times. So we held Global uh, South virtual conferences. Okay. Is Operation Dost also in that category where we are helping <coughs> other countries? So I'm sorry, I can... Uh, you don't know Operation Dost? Sorry, sir, I haven't read about it. You haven't read about Operation Dost? Did you follow the earthquake in Turkey? Yes, sir. So, sir. what was the relief operation code named? Sorry, India's sir. India's relief. I forgot the name of the ah. operation. Now, well, talking of the earthquake in Turkey, any idea what was the casualty figure? Sir, more than 20,000 people. 20,000 people? Are you sure? Are you sure it's not much more than that? Sorry, sir, I haven't. You haven't read. Which part of Turkey did the earthquake take place in? North, South, East? Sir, south part, uh, uh, the border of the Syria and Turkey. Okay, border of Syria. Can you tell me which other countries border Turkey apart from Syria? You would have looked at the map yes, sir. when you read the papers. Yes, sir. You don't know. So, um, okay, last question. You referred to the failure of the United Nations, its inability to resolve the Russia-Ukraine war, correct? Yes, sir. And you referred particularly to UNSC and the UNGA. Yes, sir. How many principal organs in all are there in the United Nations? So principal organs. So I'm sorry, I, I can't. You don't know. I'm asking you're a student of international relations. Sorry, sir. I have to Thank advise you. Away. Thank you so much, sir.